Okay, so today I'm going to change the gear gator on the Polo. Um, it's pretty tired, as you can see. It's a bit battered. Um, it really needs a change. I got a new one off eBay for, I think it was a fiver. Uh, we'll see that in a bit. But um, first, you need to remove the gator and the stick, this top bit. Um, a lot of gators will sell you the top and the bottom together. Um, but you don't need to, you can actually, you should be able to separate the two. Anyway, so the first thing you need to do is release it. And these are clipped in. And you, some guys will say use a screwdriver, but you can actually undo it quite. Oh, it takes a bit of clicking, but it will come off. Hang on a sec. Sometimes you have to put it back on. I've had it off before, so I know you can just click it. There you go. I think it's once it's on, then it's on one side, it's harder to get the other. But if I lift it out, you can see there are little um, tabs, slots, where you need to release it. And you can see on the bottom, there are also tabs. So it's pretty straightforward. You're unlikely to break it, it does feel like you're going to. The tricky thing is here, right here. This needs to be loosened so the whole thing can come off. Um, and I've seen guides where they break it, so I'm going to try and attempt to not break it because I have no idea where I can get another one of these. So I'm going to loosen it, um, hopefully, and then take the whole thing off and then try and compress it back. So I'm going to use pliers for that, or pliers and screwdriver. Once I've got the pliers to release it a little bit and screwdriver it out, well, it turns out you can actually just pull it up like that without actually taking it off. So maybe I don't need to. So you can see I'm actually, there you go, it's all come off. But maybe I don't need to um, after all. So I'm going to take this upstairs um, and do it indoors because that's where the gator is and also might be a bit easier. So I just slipped it off without having to undo that. So I just bought a pair of pliers for nothing. So this is the um, the old gator, looking pretty tacky, you can see, and this is the brand new one. Um, as I said, it was a, about a fiver on um, eBay. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. The only thing that's going to throw us is getting getting this bit off. So I'm going to try that now. So I'm trying to do this one-handed. Now on some videos they've got staples in, but this doesn't. You can see it's all elasticated and it's elasticated there as well on the, the new one. So I'm going to just peel that off. That should take about two seconds. Do it one-handed. There you go. You can see it's just coming off. So there you go. It just comes out, slips out quite easily. Done. So that's that. So that's the easy, easy bit. So next bit is getting it out. So I'm just going to do that now. So when you turn it inside out, you can see uh, the, the bubbles in there, the top is in there. Um, you got this collar, and from what I can see, this is this plastic bit is holding that in. So I think it's sandwiched behind there. So I'm going to try and peel that off to get to that and then put the new one in. Um, hopefully without doing anything to this, but you know, I'm not really sure. It's a bit of a shot in the dark, so I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so I managed to get the screwdriver in here, just underneath, and you can see that it is. You can kind of prise it off there and just prise it off like that. You can see there's a bit of a... There's a collar down here, there's a ridge, which is actually the gear shifter, the top knob. Um, so I might be able to get it off and then put that back on. So the whole thing doesn't come right off. Um, yeah, the whole thing doesn't come right off, so it will stay on. All of this blue bit will stay where it is. And then I'll just squeeze the new one underneath there 
and then sandwich it back. I'm going to try that. I think that's going to be it. And that should make it really easy then. But you can see there's a bit of, it does look, there's a lot of flex in there and I don't want to crack it. Otherwise I'm going to have to get a whole new one. So let's give this a go. That was it. So I went round the edge and you can see how it's kind of, you put the top obviously inside out of the gator underneath that. And that's sliding, you know, freely. So I guess I just have to, sorry, feed it back in, feed the top of the new gator in upside down and then press this back. You do have to take this off, just looking at it. This is too, um, this is too slim without unpicking the um, thread to get it off over the actual knob itself. So you take it over the blue housing here um, and hopefully that that will also slip in but it looks like a really small or tight fit so I'm going to try that the reason I'm doing it in such a dodgy way is because I'm trying not to have the break disc because if I break this I'm gonna to have to get another one and I have no idea where to get one of those from so yeah so I'm doing it in the the, the dodgy way um, you'd obviously do it in a more practical way if you can get that so you take that off and it all makes a lot more sense because you can if you take this off, I assume this comes away and then you can just slide that on and it'll be really easy and you just put it all back together. But I'm trying to retain that little copper or brass collar. So look, that is coming off. I've put it, put it back the right way and you can see it does come off. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So you can see it's peeling off quite easily. That was easy. Um, <laughs> so it's easy. It's easy with two hands. So that needs to go inside out and then I'll put that back on. Before I put it back on, I'll just show you the knob because very few videos or even images on the internet of just the knob. So I think this blue housing is actually all part of that. You can probably get it off. So the bottom end of that goes there and then the black collar, oops, this slots back over and then it should all be in place. So it's actually a really simple fix. And there's the knob. So it's kind of like a, well, kind of giving birth kind of thing. So this will be secured on the lower part of that collar and then I'll put the black collar back on and that will hold it. Right, so you can see I've managed to feed it round. So that's that's the um, brass ring. So there's one, if you would like to count it, there's one section there and then there's the second section here and the third section is actually where that, that sits. So it's on that collar. It's in a, it's kind of recessed and you tuck it under and then we'll put this black collar back on. So if you look at it, Look at the actual collar. There's a there's a tang there, or whatever you want to call it. It's a cutout. And then if you look at the actual side of the the collar, the blue collar, there's a there's a cutout. So they need to line up. It's only on one side. You can see it's not on the other side. So you can only put it on one way. So my video has already become useful even to me because I thought this collar has to go underneath that that blue level but I've watched what I previously shot and there is actually um, you know there is a substantial amount um, of lip um, between the black and the blue I'm not explaining myself very well but look you can see there's a gap so the black doesn't have to sit under the blue so there is actually a little shallow tray or whatever you want to call that so, so this black level doesn't have to be level with the blue so that's actually fine I'm just going to flick it out, um, put it back the right way up. Um, and it seems to look all right. I just did that um, uh, just before. That's why this is a bit uneven. Um, and it seems to be fine. So I'm just going to put it back. So as you can see, that looks pretty normal. There's a bit of a, on mine, there's a bit of a kind of stick out. It's not the end of the world. You wouldn't notice it otherwise, just because I know what it looked like before. Um, 
that's just where the fabric seam is. And I forgot to mention that I went for an all black one, with black stitching, but you can get nice, it depends on your interior, but you can get ones with red stitching and yellow stitching and all manner of stuff. And this, like I said, this was about a fiver and it is leather, it smells like leather anyway. Um, maybe they've just got a leather smell that they put on plastic or whatever that is. Um, so I'm gonna reattach this, which is very easy, but not easy to film. Um, because it's elasticated to the plastic surround. So I've got it as a kind of loose fit. You can see it's a bit, it's not perfect. It's not right where it should be, but that is gonna change once it's in the car. Cause you can see that's the plastic lip there and it's way underneath what it needs to be. All this is excess. This needs to kind of carry up there so you get a nice shape. But I don't think you can kind of perfect that. Sorry, I got the old one in the back. I don't think you can perfect that until it's actually in place um, and then I'll tidy it up and try and do it one-handed as before. Um, hopefully that's been helpful because I couldn't find any um, videos without removing that ring, that brass ring, and or replacing the whole thing. And that, if you buy these on eBay, it's about 25 quid, which is quite a lot. Or obviously if you go to scrap, you can get it cheaper um, or hopefully cheaper. Um, but yeah, let's, let's put this in place, but I'm really happy with that, even though on the bottom it doesn't look like I did it properly, it actually looks alright. Okay, look, um, look what I did, a bit thick, so that's the gear stick, that way, but look what I've done, I put it on lengthwise like an idiot, so yeah, you just have to pay attention to what you're doing maybe, um, I'm just going to sort that out now. Now what you're trying to do is get this seam to line up with the top and the bottom of the gear stick so it's right way up so I'll try and show you that and what I did was put it on wonky ways so it's just sitting wrong it looks stupid and also I think this fabric is actually cut in a certain way so you really want it to line up that's right way up so if you look I'll just kind of pull it up until you'll see the seam runs down the front and it down down the back kind of in line with that gear knob so that's what you want I was just about to um, put this plastic surround back into the collar of the gear gator um, and then I noticed that actually there's only one way up that it goes so if you notice there's two tangs there there's two holes whereas down the bottom there's only one so just make sure you put it in the right way up um, you could probably just try and get over that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the gear gator. I think I've already said how fiddly it is to try and get it to line up. Look it's overlapping when it shouldn't. Um, I think it's just a trial and error thing. Um, feeding it through, clicking everything in place and then feeding the actual fabric underneath it. I've pulled the um, gator inside out so that I can then slip this back on. So this, the little, um, the collar clip um, needs to be pointing towards the handbrake. So that's just to give you orientation. So I just noticed that I wasn't paying attention before. So I watched the video again that I made and that bit needs to come down to there, otherwise it well, just needs to come down to there so that you can get where the placement is. Otherwise, it feels like it goes on forever. The gear stick feels really high. But I think that's right, just because it's ribbed. Um, but I checked back on the video, and that's exactly where it was. So I'm just going to push that down to there. Yeah, that is right, because it notches in. And it did. And you can see it's the right way up, as it should be. So if I kind of put that in relation to the handbrake, you can see that's right. So I'm finding it a bit tough to kind of get it in place with the gator in place. But because it's elastic, it shouldn't be too hard to just... What I've done is I've lined up... Sorry, the car's a bit dirty. I've lined up the tangs. Let's see if we can get a better view there. I don't know if you can see it, but I've lined them up so they all line up. And then just before I click them into place... Um, uh, I will pull the um, elasticated collar round and then click it down, each going round in, a, in order. And then that way, hopefully, 
it will work. I mean, this this has got to be. In terms of fiddliness, this is about a ten. In terms of actual ease of doing it, it's probably like a, a two. It's nothing. It's actually really easy. But I am making the biggest meal out of this. I probably won't have to eat for a week. Okay, that was a good plan. That's kind of part way there. So you can see it's kind of still poking out. So I'm going to use a screwdriver to push it in. I haven't actually clicked everything into place, but that's actually worked. So put the plastics around in place, feed the gator over the top, then click into place. And I think that's going to do it. And already, God, that's a million times better than it was. It looked disgusting before. Right, that is it. It is in place. Believe it or not, it's all clicked in. Um, what I will say, I mean, it only cost a fiver, so I shouldn't really complain, is this is too big. It's too long. So either I need to put more fabric over the top, which I don't think I did, or they've just left too much on the outside. So there's a bit, you know, it's not, I don't know. It, I think most people wouldn't notice, but I noticed because I know how big the other one was.